Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Here, let me bring the chart up. I, I'm, re I really want to help you, Philip, but I'm just like, I mean, you're not day trading anymore. You're only doing options, and and I just, I mean, like, it's like I don't even. How can you, like? I don't know why you missed Netflix yesterday unless you were like in the emergency room. That's one. But I mean, I wasn't hard on you about it this morning, but it obviously didn't follow through today. But the market today, I told you to get out of it today. And I mean, whether you had the perfect exit today near the high or not, it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, like you were up, you were up over two in this and you didn't follow your rule then between 50% and 100%. You I did. wasn't. I, I was hardly up in in, in the spy. I, mean, I yes, know Netflix, the exact. I'm going to look up the highly option trade right now. Wrong. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Like you're just not paying attention. You paid one whatever the high of the option chain today. I'm going to tell you the exact high today of the option chain in this was 2.23. So don't tell me that you weren't up 50 percent. I mean, I just. You know, this trade this trade was only through Friday. Uh, you know, it's. I told you to get out of it today, and 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 whether it was forty seven point two percent from your exact price or forty three point one percent, you got to watch the stock. You got to watch the chart. You you didn't watch the chart yesterday in Netflix. I'm trying to help you. It's as if you're just like you take the trades and you're like, well, bleh. I mean, or you're completely completely looking at the wrong thing in charts. I really am trying to help you. What is it? Yesterday, that was my mistake with Netflix, definitely. I should have just sat here and just watched it and taken it out. Uh, but I didn't, unfortunately. But you don't have to sit that long. I mean, most of these things have the moves in the morning. So it's not like you had to sit all day till 4 o'clock yesterday or even this here. But even still... How could you be messing up this buy trade here? Like, didn't you watch this chart today? No, I didn't. Why? Why? I mean, you can't just take trades and not look at them. You can't take trades and not pay attention. You're not day trading. If you really want to be successful with this, and if you really, really, truly do, which I don't know anymore, Philip, then you have got to take it seriously. And it's like you're taking three contracts and you're not taking it seriously. You're taking one contract and you're not taking it seriously. I mean, I certainly don't think you would have walked away from Netflix if you had 30 contracts. Nor do I think you would have done the same thing if you had this one here. You can't you can't afford to pretend that 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 if you have a couple it doesn't matter because how are you ever going to build your account up i know i've got to do something right so now i'm calling positive good trade after positive good trade and when you mess up the trades that are positive philip the next yeah. trade if i call it which i hope to god it works but if it loses then you'll be you'll blame me and say well this one lost well yeah that's true but when five work and one loses and the five that work, you don't get out of, right? I mean, what, you know, Yeah, no. I'm what's not. going on with you? I mean, I just don't understand. You've just given up? No, 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 no. But to be honest, my dad's not too good at the moment. So I'm, um, my concentration is elsewhere. Okay, well, then that makes sense. Then don't trade. You know, I, I, is he in the hospital? What's happening with him? Well, he's, he's had pneumonia and he's, at the moment, he's sort of taking a dip, really. He was improving, and now he seems to have... Is he at home? Is he at home? He, he is, thankfully. Yes, he is, but... Well, pneumonia's uh, not the end of the world. He can get over pneumonia. Do you have a nurse coming in to see him, or what? Well, he's, he's up there in his 80s, and uh -huh. at the moment, he's... Um, no one's looking after him, really, but... Um, well, maybe you need to look after him. Maybe you need to take a break here, look after him. I mean, that makes sense. I thought he was in the hospital. Then I thought he got out. Then he, I he thought was, he was better. He was, yeah, 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 he was, but uh, it was supposedly on the right side. But things haven't, things have turned again, unfortunately, in the wrong direction. But like, I, I'm, not using that, I'm not using that as an excuse. Well, I, I mean, it is I, a, it's a good excuse. I, it's a good yeah. excuse. I mean, if you're upset about something going on, I mean, is this going on for a week or is it like just the last day? Oh, this has been going on for the last month. For the last month? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, 
what if it goes on for another six months? You can't trade poorly because you're worked up about him, which, no, you know. No, 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 I can't. No, I can't. But I, yes, I mean, I should have just taken it out yesterday when I saw it and just walked away and bagged the profit and that was it. Unfortunately, I didn't, did I? I, just I know, it. but I talked to you this morning about the market because I wanted to make sure you did the right thing with this when I you saw did, it because I mean, it expires Friday. I, I know, I know, but I didn't. I mean, I glanced at the screen. Yes, when the market opened, I was up about oh, forty-seven dollars or something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't up. I wasn't up, you know, in my sixty percent region or anything like that. I know, but you still have to watch the chart. You still have to watch the chart. You have to combine targets and profit percentage goals with the chart itself. Sometimes things don't work out the way that you want with the chart. Sometimes yes. you wanted to go to a certain number and it does not, and it's run shy of that. Like I thought this today could go to 285. It did not. High of the day today was 284.36. But when you looked at what was happening here, and again, you may not have had an exact exit, but when you looked at this here, it's at a certain point, at a certain time, you have time to get out before you have a big red bar like this that happened here at 1245. So anyways, long story short, you, you, you have to combine all of these things, but you know how to do this. I mean, you know, you, you, you used to know it's, it's almost like you used to know how to read charts and now like you don't know how to read charts or you're ignoring the chart. But I think sometimes you ignored charts in the past when you were doing better with reading them because you wanted more out of the trades than they had to give. You wanted more out of them that they had to give. And unfortunately, you you have to you have to go with the flow a little bit of things. You have to. Oh gosh, I just you know, I don't yes, know if so anything I'm saying I, is making any sense to you at all. Yes, I just yes, it is, it is. I mean, I should have just taken that Netflix yesterday. It was up enough. I should have just taken it. Well, what's really your explanation should. why you didn't? You were distracted because your father is sick. I mean, if that's well, the reason, I, I get I, it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether if it's that greed factor or what i don't know i mean crikey i've only got one contract it's not like i know so then so then what is it like don't you like this is something you have to work on yourself like i don't know how to help you with this if you don't know why you're doing things like this then how can i help you i mean like again you had one contract so it's not again you know but if you had 10 i guarantee you would have acted the same you have one goal. Your goal is to make money. Sometimes you're not going to get out of the high. Sometimes it's not going to go to the target. Sometimes you're just going to make money and it's not going to be a lot and it's not going to be a hundred percent return investment and it's not going to even be one hour in a day trade. It's just going to be money, but that is better than losing. And what I'm calling winning trade after winning trade after winning trade after winning trade, take it for what it's worth. I mean, sometimes it is what it is. This is not an exact science, but if you're good at it, you take the good trades. I'm calling good trades. And for you to mess up good trades, Philip, you have to stop doing that. And either you take a break because your father's sick or you you have to take this more seriously. And I don't care if you have one contract. How are you going to grow your account? How are you ever going to get yes. back on track? I mean, to be quite honest, it would have been better if I had 10 contracts because I could have split it. And then obviously I would have broken even if it had come back on me. But at the same time, how are you ever going to get to that point? How are you going to get to that point where you can never do it when you don't get out when you're up? Like, well, how much money, dollars and cents were you up in this when you looked at it, when you actually had a chance to get out, when you actually looked at it yesterday? I was probably at the price of the premium. But I just thought it was going to, it, it touched so close, I thought it was going to blow through. It didn't. I know. Again, I thought this Friday they would go to 285, but it didn't. But look at it now. If you didn't get out, like, what did you end up? Did you end up losing in these then? I yeah. actually balanced on the spy. Uh, I balanced on that. That was okay. Netflix, yes, I'm down. What am I down? 27%. So you took Netflix out with a loss and you got out of break even with the spy in two winning trades. So we had a conversation like two weeks ago. I don't remember when it was anymore. And I was yelling at you about, you were happy that you got out I flat. Know, I don't even I know, know what we I were know. talking it about. Sounds ridiculous. It, it sounds is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And it I'm even, trying to be hard to me, on you. Hmm? I have been banging my head on this desk. I, I, I can fully understand what you mean. I, I can see that. Mm-hmm. It was profit. I should have mm-hmm. just taken the profit. But I thought the chart was going to just blow through. Did it blow through? No, it didn't. But even if it had, even if, first of all, you can't ignore the chart. But even if it had, 
even if it had, okay, you yes. were up. So why are you trying to even worry about that getting out of that? That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't think if you had more sides, you would have traded these any different, knowing I think, you. I, I think, to be quite honest, to be quite honest, I was expecting more out of the trade. And it was expecting, expecting. Which trade are you I talking about? Which trade are you I'm, talking I'm about? Talking, I'm not talking about the spy. I mean, mm -hmm. the spy didn't hardly move. But the, the uh, Netflix, that's the one. That was the one with the money. I it. call this trade on a whim because I saw buying was coming into it. It wasn't an earnings play. It didn't have some Megalodon gap up. I saw the market and I called a strong stock with the market. What I thought would get a lift. That's what it was. Why did you think this was going to be Costco? Why did you think this was going to be Alta? There would be no reason for you to even think that at all. If you rated the gap, you wouldn't have thought it. And if you would have asked me, I would have told you. Right. So it's like your rationale is like, well, I thought, I thought, I thought. I mean, the stock just had a lift with the market. That's it. And I called a trade. I saw it, was going to do it in the time that I called it. And, it, it, you know, it could have gone more, it could have gone less, but it went. But it's still, I mean, again, if you're not going to focus on day trading, which I honestly think you do better with, because when you're in the room, I'm guiding you, then if then you must be responsible for watching these trades and you can't look for more than they have to give. And you certainly cannot have a profitable trade turn into a negative trade and a profitable trade turn into a flat trade. That's what you're, you're just, you're, you're, it's like, you're, it's like an exercise in futility. You're taking the trains and then if they, like, this is, you are having the same exact problem, Philip, that you did in 2016. You take the trade, if it goes like a monster, you make money in it. Somehow, some way, like Costco. Why? Because, I mean, there, you, there, a fool couldn't have messed this up. My God. But if you, if you do not get a move like this, you mess it up every time. You take days to make up your mind what to do. You can't make up your mind even looking at a five-minute chart or a 15-minute chart anymore. You can't think fast enough about what to do. And you have minutes and minutes and, in some cases, an hour. And sometimes you'll have even overnight. I checked in with you this morning. I saw the market gapping up. I called the train yesterday. And I said, get out of this trade today. I couldn't have been more clear about it. So you got out of it today break even. Do you think that that is a successful trade? Well, didn't you say if it goes to 285, is that where it went? I don't know. I didn't listen to the video yet. I will upload it. But I said target today is 285. That doesn't yeah. mean hold it to 285 come hell or high water. That's not <laughs> what I said, and that's never what I say. You still got to look at the chart. You still got to manage the trade. Yes, I know. I understand that. I, I really do. I mean, worst case um, scenario, you could have got out of this here. You know, at some point, even in here before one o'clock, and you still could have got out of it, even with 25, 30 cents profit, let alone break even, maybe even a little bit more. But I mean, to get out of it 10 minutes ago, whenever you emailed me, once the whole thing has dropped through the low and is going red. Well, I haven't been sat here, so yes, it was just a case of break even, close the positions, that's it, done. I mean, I don't like the way Netflix is looking anyway. I mean, it's just... You got out of this, open. right? You got out of this, oh, right? Oh, I, I've killed both of them, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because who knows? They could fall for two days, and obviously... The trades work, though. The trades work. You messed them up. You had two profitable trades that you did not get out of any with any money. Do you think that that's good? No. Okay, so what are you going to do? You either have two choices. Either A, you take a break because your father's sick. If that's honestly, honestly, honestly the reason that you screwed these two trades up, or B, you you and only you can determine and, and know why you are acting like this, why you are not getting out of profitable trades, why you are taking all of the trades that are good and messing them up. And the ones that don't work, they do not work. There's nothing anyone know, can been, do about them. I have been trying to rack my brains as to why I didn't pull the trigger on Netflix yesterday. I, I just, I, I'm just astounded at myself to be quite honest because i'm not astounded it's, uh, at all i could it's like i could write out a script of everything you're going to do for the next five trades already it's the same that you've done for the last five trades but it isn't i've taken it the is. i have taken yeah you taken took costco because it ran up 60 percent i mean 60 i mean costco exactly went, exactly went, if it went. goes right away is big then you don't have a problem but if it doesn't that like i mean if you if, if, all to two you got out of but if it doesn't then then you mess it up an idiot would 
know to get out of any of these things when they go and make the move immediately. Yes, but that's not every trade. So, I mean, you know, I, I well, I'm going to have to start pulling the trigger at whatever figure as soon as they go green, no matter where I am with them. No, again, that's being ridiculous. That's being absolutely ridiculous. That's what you've been doing too. You have been, you went through back and forth to do that and then you'll kill a trade too early and then you'll be bad and then you'll say, I'm going to hold it. You have to look at what's happening. You must read the chart. You must look at the targets. You must look at the profit. You must look at your account and you must pay attention to what's happening. You can't react 17 hours after it's already moving against you. You must pay attention. You have to stop focusing on the other things that I didn't teach you. And you must, I mean, just be normal. Now you're taking it to the other extreme. Well, if I'm up, this is a conversation we've had 27,000 times too. Well, how do I know when to get out? When I'm up, when I get up 10 cents, am I supposed to get out? No. Yes. No, no. no. 60 to 100%. This was very obvious. It ran up. It moved up. And then it faltered. You were up. You could have thrown an order out and gotten out. Now, if you didn't want to do that and you want to wait until the next 15 minute bar, you would have seen, crap, this is, it's almost one o'clock. I don't have that much time today. And then you react and you throw an order out. And that's how you play it. You don't wait until five minutes before the close and realize that the trade is over and get out negative or down or break even or whatever. I mean, it's, 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 it's like, you are not like, I mean, you're not a long-term investor. And even if you were, quite frankly, you'd be doing horrible with that too. I would, definitely. No, no, I'm not long-term. I'm just short-term. That's me at the moment. Okay, short-term is you took the trade yesterday, you get a rally today, you get out. The, fa the yes, fact that I got yes. 64 cents from the target and now you want to, it's like, it's like with, it's like with the Walmart where you paid absolutely no attention to anything that the stock was doing. I mean, you can't ignore what's happening. I mean, I'm good, but I cannot tell you every second from 9.30 to 4 where this is going to go. I mean, honestly, you have got to get better at doing this. And I, I say common sense, but you're not, you have no common sense. And then you want to throw one out and say, well, there's no way for me to figure it out, Melissa. I'll just get out and make 0.10000%. No, that's ridiculous. You were up way more than this. I told you, it went up to almost two and a quarter, and you could have at least got out at two or maybe 190, 195. And if you had three contracts times, you know, 60 cents, you were up. You could have made 180 bucks in this. Instead, you didn't make any money at all. And $180 is the amount that you could risk in the next trade whenever I call the next trade. So you don't oh, just say you lose look? this one, make it out of the break even this one. If if your account is at whatever point and it doesn't move higher, then how are you then how are you gonna cover the losses and how are you ever gonna grow it? It's like then you need, you need a Costco and then you gotta hold it forever to go. And who can tell? I didn't know this is gonna go here until a certain point. I mean, by the first day, you realized it was going to go to this number. And then by the second day, you realized it was going to go to this number. But who would even still stay in it? I mean, at a certain point, you have to decide this is a good trade and I'm getting out. But even still, I think you got out of this early. So the winners you, that work really well, you get out early. And the ones that go and have a move in his profit, you end up getting out break even. And then, you know, this, whatever, I mean, just didn't pay attention to it. I don't even know, but it's done. There was no rationale for you to think Netflix was going to go anywhere insane. Although the stock was strong for the time period that I called it, it wasn't an earnings play. There wasn't any news on it. So, there's something going on in your head where you have programmed. It's taken over you. It's controlling you. It's like a demon is controlling you now that you are setting yourself up to lose. You actually take the actions of a person that desires to not make it. And I'm trying to help you, but I can't control your brain. You can control your brain. You are actually, I know that you will mess up the next trade or the next one after that because you aren't taking control of the situation and taking control of your thoughts, your actions, your emotions, and everything. You have to say, I am sick to death of this. I told you before, you got to get angry about it. Now, if you don't want to trade anymore I'm because sick your dad's sick, that's a different story. But I don't see any fight in you to get tough. And start doing the right things here. You are, it's like this thing is taking over you. We say, 
oh, uh, I guess I'll just get out of it at break even. You, the train was there. You had it. You had it in your grasp. The the money. I don't care if it was seventy five dollars or two hundred bucks. It was right in your pocket. It's gone. It's like, like this thing has taken over you. Where your your whole attitude, your whole actions, your, the the way that you press the buttons. It's like. You have to like do an exorcism or something. It's I'm t I'm trying to help you. Yes, thank you. I know you are. I know That's you why are. I talked to you this morning. I said, get out of I this know. trade today. I know, I know. I should have I should have stayed and just closed the position when it, when it turned on the five minute. I'm looking. At I mean, the now. chances of you getting out of the high it looked great. It looked fabulous. It looked amazing. This looks really, really good, but it did shoot up like a rocket into 12 o'clock. It's not going to go straight up forever. At some point, you're like, uh, crap. And then you could have just thrown an order out and got out. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let this happen against you. At least you didn't get out of this with a loss, but I'm just saying it's 180 bucks that you don't have that you would have had and you could have had. You're like, you're like taking trades and then you're putting the money back into your account. And you're taking the trades and you're putting the money that you're putting back into your account. You have to take the trades, get the profit, then stick that money back in your account for the cost of the trade, press the profit. But yes. the ones you're losing, you're definitely losing because everyone is losing. So, I, I, I you know. Yes. When yes. are you going to do better? I mean, there's some yes. people that are doing so well. Like, I, I, you should be pissed. I am, I am, I am pissed. I am pissed. Yeah, I am. Well, get pissed in the next trade then. Dig your heels in. Watch the thing. Watch everything that I taught you to do. You're going to watch the market. You're going to watch the stock. You're going to watch the charts. You're going to see what's happening. You're going to rate the gap. You're going to take the trade. You're going to look at your account. You're going to look at the percentage you're up. You're going to trade it like you just risked a million dollars in the trade and do it right. Yes. Right. You can't just throw one contract out there or two contracts and say, uh, do -do -do -do. You, I mean, you wouldn't do any better if you had a bigger account because you didn't do any better when you had a bigger account before. And this is how you got in this position. You have to, you, your, your body language, your mannerisms, your, your, your actions, everything has to start to exude success. And right now you're in such a negative mindset. And so you have to do some work on that. I told you to do affirmations. Have you been do working on those? I have, yes, I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. I also listen to Mark Douglas, and he talks about this position that I am in, um, psychology you're looking at. Yeah, well, I don't think it's helping you. I don't think he's helping you at all. And he's talking on a very flat level. You need some you need some deeper work than reading that book. It's a very generic book. I'm not saying it's a bad book, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that's pretty much the, you're, you're, you're way past generic, Philip. This is like deep-seated issues here. When I'm calling 25 positive trades and you are flat, that's pretty screwy. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. I should have, like I say, I should have made, I should have made in them. I mean, you Definitely. could have an extra $500 in your account today. And instead, yeah, cool. you don't. Yeah, you cool. have less money because you got out of Netflix with a loss. Yeah, I could. I could have a lot more in my account today, especially for taking Netflix yesterday. I want to know what you're going to do before I go here to fix this problem right now. Right now. What are you going to do so that this never happens again? Well, the next trade that you take... I will take the trade and uh, I will have to monitor it a lot more and take it out when it falls into my criteria between 60 and 100%. But again, if it gets near the target and it's not up exactly 60%, then get out of it. You still have to well, watch the trade. I'll be looking, obviously, at the 5 and the 15 minute more. And obviously, when you see a turn bar like the one at 12 o'clock in the spy, mm -hmm. then I will close the position out. Mm -hmm. Definitely will. I won't hang about, which is a similar scenario to what I was in Netflix yesterday. I just thought it was going to touch on the high and it was going to blow through it the next time. Unfortunately, I, let, I gave it too much wiggle room. I know, but again, you don't have you didn't have a million months and years on this either. I Even know. if you didn't get out of this here, you would have seen something was wrong here. And if you didn't see something was wrong here to get out of it soon, you had to see here. So, I mean, at some point here, you can't, like, you can't just completely let this go into the end. I mean, I didn't even go back and look at this yesterday, but it didn't close well. It did, I mean, it didn't. It, it, it yeah. just, it just didn't. But, 
you know. I know. I don't think that Mark Douglas book is going to do anything other than make you feel better about these problems that you're having, like it's consoling you. You don't need any consoling. You don't need to be babied. You need to get no, tough. Yeah, I am. But, you know, I don't have to jump up and down and throw my computer out of the window. No, you don't have to do that. I, that's not, you don't have to act like a raging, crazy lunatic. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I don't act like that when I get angry. But by golly, I dig my heels in and, and fight back. And that's what you are not doing. If you are in a situation where you feel like you need to start getting ahead, then let's see some grit, Philip. It's not about throwing it out of the computer. Again, you're taking it to the extreme. You're no, taking not, it to the complete no, not extreme. That's not me. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I, yes, the next trade I will take, as I do, and I will come out with profit. That's what I will do. I mean, I really thought you were in a good way after Costco and Alta and yes, the market last week. Yes. I really thought you were getting things together, and now these two here today. And do you know, I would have been so easily yesterday, but unfortunately, I thought Netflix was going to go and blow through that level, and it didn't. I know, I but there was no reason time. to think that you did. But even if, even if you did, now just listen to me, because you, you, I mean, one can only predict so much. Even if you thought that was the case, you you would have seen, as I repeated, that was not happening here. So even if you thought it, at a certain point, you have to see that is not happening here. So you can't ignore reality because you're in trades for a set time period and you have to get in and get out and get in and get out because you're not a long-term investor. If yes. you were, it's a different story. But again, you would make poor decisions then I think too. And, and you, can't, you can't do that. You don't have the luxury. You should be at here on March 19th. Your account should be, I mean, I know. I mean, it's just I've lost track. You should be up thousands, thousands more dollars than you are right now. Even with the small size of account that you have, you should be up thousands more. You can go back and look at it and get depressed about every trade you messed up. I don't want you to do that. But I want you to start showing some grit and fighting back and say, I'm not going to do this anymore. Reading books like the Mark Douglas book will make you feel consoled that other people have gone through what you've gone through, but that ain't going to make you successful and it's not going to make you do the right things. I'm telling you, you need to get tough and it's not about acting <laughs> angry and mad like a lunatic. It's about saying, I am frustrated with the situation and by golly, I'm going to turn it around and I'm not going to make excuses anymore and I'm not going to wait. I'm going to turn around today. I agree. I am. Yes, I am frustrated with it. Incredibly frustrated with it. But do something about really it, am. Philip. Yeah, I'll, I will. From, I just have to. What can I say? I mean, the, nothing. The I want you to just do it. it. You don't have to apologize to me. It's your trading. I want you to just do it. I want to see some improvement with you. I'm calling a lot of good trades here. Of all people, I would like all my students to benefit from them and clients, but they are. You're not. That to me is crazy town. When I have people that are on the option letter that never did the class in their life, like the guy yesterday who took forever to sign up and he made $2,500 on whatever, some trade I called, I don't even know. I mean, seriously, you really got to start saying this is nutty and just do it. Yes. You, th you overthink it. You overanalyze it. You think it's going higher. It doesn't reach the target exactly. It doesn't reach the percentage exactly. Or you think it has more room or it does reach, reach the percentage exactly like Netflix and you still think it looks good. You, 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 it's like you talk it, you, you like talk it to death. It's just a trade. It's just a trade. Yes, what, what, I yes, mean, it's just, it this is. Is a, it's just a trade. I mean, if Netflix had gone to 525, what's the most that you possibly could have made? I don't know, but it's, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have made your year. It wouldn't have made your year. It's just a trade. You know yes, what I'm that's saying? Right. Yeah, that's right. It's just another number at the end of the day. That's right. It's just, a, it's just, it's just yeah. a trade. But when you say it's just a trade and you have a positive trade that goes negative like Netflix or a positive trade that goes break even where you get out its spy, you say just a trade. I mean, when you have a series of trades where you're just taking them and getting out with no money, that's, that's like an exercise in futility. I mean, I don't understand why you're not angry and upset and ready to make some changes with that. Again, I'm preface this by saying if you really are mentally and emotionally in a bad place because of your father, then get focus on him, get him well, and come back. But if you're going to keep doing the trades, then by golly, you got to start booking the money. 
I have to keep doing the trades and I have to continue. It's as simple as that. I cannot stop. I have to continue with it. So I will have to get them right and I will have to take profit off the table. I'm the one that's getting them right and then you are the one that's taking them and messing them up. Stop doing that. No, it's me. I know it's me. Then it's just stop my... doing it. It's like you don't even have to like I don't don't even who cares why? Like it doesn't even matter. You don't need to go to a shrink about it. Just say, well, the next time I see it run up, I'm going to watch it. If it breaks the bar in the 15 minute, I'm out. Boom. Don't even, just don't even look at the percentage if that's really going to mess you up in your head. Don't even look at the target if that screws you up too. Pick a time of the day, 10 o'clock, noon, some time of the day, they're going to watch the trades and get out. And I'm going to say I'm going to sit and watch every second from 9.30 to 4. But if, yeah. I, if I talk to you in the morning and I say, get out of this trade today, then... I mean, of course, seriously, yes, that's you know. between now and four o'clock. I agree, yes, and if it turns down the 15 minute and breaks the 15 minute bar, then yes, I will be out. Definitely. Yeah, I will. I want to see some more grit with you to fight back to do better, to get ahead. If you were running a marathon, you would not win. You, this is, you have to look at it like this is, you are running the marathon and you got to get ahead of the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. And the only way you do that is to take the trade book money, take the trade book money, take the trade book money. It's almost like the amount doesn't matter. I mean, you're saying, well, I'm only up $25. That's not the point. You were up way more than this in these trades. So it's about give them a chance to work. Like you, you didn't have to get out of this into the open. It held, yeah. looked good, rallied, went over the high, got close to the number. You take it into the momentum, out. Yes. yes, thank you. All right, I'll check in with you again, Philip. I hope your father gets well. Thank you. Yes, right. thank you very much, Melissa. I'll Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye.